This is a quick tour of the new Photos app from Google. Announced yesterday at I.O., it's now been split off of Google+. Plus. Uh, and I'm just going to go through some of the features real quick and tell you what I love and what I don't love. Uh, first thing that's nice is kind of cleaner interface, and you can pinch to zoom out and see this much more month detail. I feel like this is very iPhotos um, and Photos os esque like but uh, you know what? It's fine to take from that because that is a good interface and I like it. And you can come back into a single and pinch to zoom in even more or click on an image to see it larger. Now, one of the nice things that was, one of the things that I really liked about the old Photos app was its editing features borrowed from Snapseed or combined with Snapseed. We now have a different set of editing features across the bottom and I am not a fan. Uh, you can still take images over to Snapseed, Snapseed and Snapseed 2.0 is excellent, but these right here feel kind of flat, and so I'm not going to be doing much work with them. Uh, these are our only options for editing. Then we, of course, have our filters. I don't use those. Uh, and then we have our crop tool uh, right there, and that's it. So pretty basic, but we can, of course, bring, oh, not there, bring this over right here to uh, Snapseed, so you could share it with Snapseed right there and then do your editing. But that's an extra step that I wish that they would incorporate these two, um, or at least have a light version and then a more advanced version in there. So we're in the photo section right here, uh, and as you saw, I can pinch to zoom, uh, and I can also search. It's going to do the by people. It's going to do by places. Uh, and things. And this is really interesting. Uh, it's just picked images and categorized. And because Google really wants to be your place, your home for all of your photos, uh, if you're uploading all of your photos into Google, uh, it's pretty neat that it does its machine learning search uh, through here and has found all of my waterfall pictures. And I can go back through time and you can see that I take lots of waterfall pictures. Some of these dates are not quite correct, but some are. Uh, and doesn't always get everything perfect. That clearly on the right is not a waterfall, but it's got water in it. And it's a nice reflection, so it did find uh, something in there that's, that's interesting. Over here, uh, under the photos, you have the assistant, which is the new name for that kind of auto or the, the different auto awesome features. Uh, what it has found right now is a time lapse from the GoPro running in Christina's jacket pocket. And it helpfully has created an animation in batches of those. Some of them really have nothing going on. I did a quick count. I think there's maybe 70 of these batches of these in here. So that is a little frustrating that it has done such a poor job of creating these basically black or almost black animation. Some of them are a little bit more interesting, like this one, but it's still nothing that I want to keep. So that's not great. Uh, it does other things besides make animations of insides of pockets. It will also suggest collages, do that type of uh, kind of tweaking to make your image pop a little bit more or look a little bit nicer. Nothing super useful, but it can be nice. Collections is really their stories now. Uh, and I do like these, and I'm glad to see that they've made the transition over to the new app. Uh, you can click on them. It basically just takes pictures taken in an area at a certain time and puts them together in this little story. And then you have a place to add descriptions, and you can share them out in this kind of uh, cool swipe view uh, look. So I like that. I think that's nice that that has made the transition and I'm excited to have the ability to make more of these in the future. And uh, so we can add some moments, we can edit this, we can remove some moments from that, uh, which is nice and we can share that out uh, just like we would a single picture. The, uh, it is a little bit easier to share overall. I think we can search for collections as well. And under there we have shared links, so who we've shared things to, the device folders, because this does want to back up images uh, on your device up to 16 megapixels. Uh, well, it'll, it, if the images are larger, it will take them, but it's going to only keep a 16 megapixel copy uh, and videos as well, 1080p or smaller resolution. So those do not count against your file size or your storage space 
Above that, though, you are welcome to put images up, but it is going to count towards your storage space, and you may end up paying after a certain period of time. And that's under settings where you can say, when do you back up? Making those creations, uh, movies, collages, grouping faces, showing your photos in the Google Drive as well, uh, removing geolocation if you're paranoid about people tracking you to where you are, uh, and that's pretty much it. So that is all pretty nice under backup and sync. You can make sure that power, these aren't new settings. I have it set to upload original backup over Wi-Fi only. And right now I have it set to backup only while charging. I, I change that from time to time. When I'm traveling at times, I will let it back up uh, if I'm not being too worried, if I'm not too worried about battery life because I'd rather have my pictures safe pretty quickly after I take them. Um, but at the same time, if I know I'm going to be shooting a lot and don't want to impact either my data or my battery life greatly, I will turn that off. So this was just a quick look at the Photos app in Google. It's available for Android or iOS and accessible through the web interface as well. And I have to say that that's quite nice. I'll be showing that in a future video. If you've got any questions, leave a comment right down below. I'd love to hear where your favorite place is to store and or share, because those places don't always have to be the same, where you store your images and or where you share images out with friends and family. Thanks so much for watching. Goodbye.